What is up guys, it's me by KWIS and you're back again with another video, another season four breakdown, another character that I play quite a bit myself and that's Mr. Steven Fox here. Uh, someone who wasn't really on the list for getting a bunch of buffs and you can kind of see it through his patch notes here. There isn't anything huge I think for him. He hasn't got any nice huge changes. He does have some buffs here. Um, I can't, I haven't really looked for his, his, his notes a lot. I think a few like mainly damage nerfs to his lows was the main thing I saw, but obviously we'll get through it. Uh, together and first off there was a change to his raise drive in which well the first one is that fixing issue in which the opponent could shorten the recovery time via sidestep input when the move was blocked i don't know what that means and also change the opponent's behavior when the move hits or hits in mid-air on the fifth hit so did it always knock them back that far there's no way it always knocks them back that far how far does that wall splat from What? What? What is this? Bro, did you see that wall splat distance? What is this? Nah, look how far I am from the wall. Look how far I am from the wall. What the hell? Look at that. There's no way it wall splats from here, right? There's no way it wall splat from here. What? Bro, what is this? I can't even do massage right now as well because I'm so gobsmacked. Like, what the hell is this? I'm so confused. Who asked for this? Who said this is something he needed? Who was something that they want? Said they wanted this. Like, what? And then also when it hits midair, I don't think I can even do this in like... Like, it says it changes when it's hit in midair, but I don't even know. Like, I've never seen this hit midair. Like, this is this is another change. There was another character who had a change. Like, the, like Armor King Shadow Step Low. Like, they've changed how this move hits in midair. And it's like, I've never seen it hit in midair. Yeah, I don't know how we'll test that. But yeah, that is... Wow. And also the second rage drive increases the pushback to reset frequency. So yeah, they don't want you switching sides. Like there used to be times where you get weird side switches when you go for siege rage drive. So that's not going to be happening anymore, thankfully. Um, during dark uh, one one, uh, change opponent's behavior or move lands as a counter hit. Are they going to tell him? Is this going to be a counter hit launcher now? I think what they're telling me is this is going to be a counter hit launcher now. Uh, turn off the rage. It's probably just the second hit, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. If you're a Steve player, you know what that knockdown means. You probably, you obviously get the forward forward two. And you probably get like a, see, it's hard to do. It's hard to make the first hit whiff. You, know, you get stuff like this, but then obviously the big boy thing everyone's going to want to do is now this after it. And I'm obviously not going to do it first time. And I don't think I'm going to waste time trying it because I can do it. But when I'm recording in the middle of recording a video, I know I'm going to mess it up like two billion times and then everyone's going to make fun of me. So we're just going to we just we know it's possible. I just don't need to show you. We know it's possible. Uh, next up during ducking one plus two change the damage from three to five during duck one plus two his ma his massage yeah they've changed damage of the first hit from three to five so this this first hit does more damage now so i guess massage combo will do more damage in general which i'm which i think what this means is if we just do a wall combo 55 52 so yeah before this um these two used to literally do the same amount of damage which used to make me think like why do steve players go for massage when they can just do this instead um but now massage the thing is massage um because you can get more hits because the way like it's multiple hits and back to the wall um they it did more damage anyway but now it definitively does more damage in the wall combo which is nice um then why don't you just
Yeah, it's just it's just it does more damage now. It's your go-to wall combo. They want you they want you to do massage as a wall ender, which I don't blame you. It looks cool. Uh next up, peekaboo forward uh one plus two. This is the new move that Steve has. Uh it's 12 frames. It's high high. Uh I don't know. Is it let's see if it's natural on block? I'm guessing it is natural, so there'd be no point in it. Yeah, it's natural. Um Jail's on block as well. Minus five. Yeah, Jail's on block. Minus five. It's not bad. Probably wall splats as well. Um, that's one thing I love about having the frame data in the game that we can just see right away. Yes, this new move is minus five, right? Um, it's the small things that make a difference. Um, probably wall splats. Yeah. Actually, with a 12 frame start up, let me try something. What I think this might mean, I might not be able to, I might not have the execution to do it because I don't play Steve like that. But if we go to all switch positions, so what I think this might mean, I don't know if I have the execution to do it. Um, so let me just think about. Yeah. That's something he can do now. I mean, he could always do back one, two from this position. For the wall splat. Um, yeah. So you could always do back one, uh, back one, two from that position. However, this is, this looks like it's just going to be more damage. If I can keep remember, I keep forgetting what the input is as well. Yeah, that looks like it's just going to be more damage. So yeah, that's what that means. Um, that's really good at balcony breaks for Steve because that's that's probably going to break the balcony straight away. If I can do my massage today, that would be good. Um, that's probably going to break the balcony as well. So that's really good for Steve. Um, I think in those kind of situations, I don't know how it will fare in neutral. 35 damage is not awful, you know. Um, yeah, that's, that's quite a good addition for Steve. Um, you might even be able to use it as a punish in certain situations you know that's minus 12. i think it'd have to be like minus 13. what's minus 13 for steve uh while sending one too i think i think he might even be able to use it as a punish in certain situations this is minus 13 i think this is going to be hard to do first time no yeah, you see that punish. So Steve will even be able to use it as like a well, uh, a ma <laughs> a max execution perfect thirteen frame punish. I don't think he can do it at twelve because he probably needs one frame to enter peekaboo, and I can't do it. I can't do it again. I did it once, and that's all I needed to prove to you guys. To be honest, that I can do it once, and I've lost my I've lost my ability to do it. There we go. To be honest, it's actually not that hard now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, on a move like Steve's while sending one two, actually the this could this is you know what this could be a good punish for. Now that I think of this could be a good punish for is so Steve's while sending one two is is a good example. But I'll give you another example in Katarina's hop kick. It's going to be a bit different, but basically what you do is you you have to probably um button buffer. Well, input buffer. So the moment you've blocked the second hop kick, what you're doing is you block the second hop kick and you start holding forward, right? You block the second hop kick, you start holding forward, and then you do peekaboo forward one plus two, and then you just do one plus two. It's going to be a bit hard at the start. I think it's going to be... Right? So by the time you're already punishing... It's going to take some time to get used to. I've, I've, I I, have the idea in my head in theory. It's just like getting the muscle memory to pull it off and shit. I think Steve's while standing one too is going to, is easier, but I'm just giving you uh, an, uh, another application for it in terms of punish anyway. Um, I don't think this is how they intended it to be used, but I was like, mm, why not? This is frame perfect, by the way, because Steve needs a frame to enter peekaboo and this starts up in 12 frames. So this is literally frame perfect. Like you just keep practicing this. Like obviously, I like I said, they didn't intend this to be used as a punish like this. Like he still has back one too. But obviously, a knockdown 13 frame 
uh, is really good. But Steve's while standing one, two is easier because the moment you block the while standing one and the two comes out, you can you can you can already start holding forward on the while standing one because of the way it jails you. Right? And then you're just ready to let it rip. Let it rip. This is going to be very situational and I don't think <laughs> this will be consistent for most people, but I think it's just something cool and it's something I'm going to want to try and match is like, for example, uh, we take something that's like minus. I mean, obviously not 15 frame because of that. But I want to, if I could start using that consistently as a 14 frame, that'd be sick, but I probably won't because it's, it's, a, it's a lot more effort than I wanted than I want to be putting into this game, <laughs> especially with Steve. Uh, and next up, we spend a lot of time on that. Next up is Peekaboo down one is does 11 damage now instead of 12. Uh, Peekaboo back two is now minus 13 instead of minus 14. And I think and also uh, Peekaboo back two is now minus 13 instead of minus 14. That's his other wall bounce. And I think what they're telling you with that is they want you to punish it with this. <laughs> That's what they're telling you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what they want you to just use this is try and use this as a wall bounce, I think, by making it a bit more safe. No one, I never really saw people use this move anyway. There wasn't really any reason to use it when he had an, another better wall bounce that was safer. Um, there wasn't really any reason to use it, but you know, it's minus 13 now. And showing the recovery time after move hits by one frame. So he recovers faster after hitting. So that's nice. Um, down one does 12 damage instead of 14. Down two does 11 damage instead of uh, 13. And back two does 15 damage instead of 20. So damage nerfs across the board for Steve. That's his 17 frame launcher. Uh, that's less damage. You can see here. That combo is already doing less. Uh, and obviously a low low combo, low poke uh, nerf, low poke damage nerf for Steve as well. Um, during sway one plus two, fix an issue in which performing throw escape in specific situations led to unintended behavior. So sometimes when you broke this throw, weird things would happen. Um, and I'm assuming that's what they fixed with this. It looks like it's only the one where it, um, it's only the one where they go back from the looks of things. So it looks like it's the only one that, that goes back. So that's that's whatever. Uh, during flicker stance, uh, one, two, change the behavior when hit. Is this not going to knock? I think this isn't going to knock down anymore. Oh, it still knocks down. Is it just the last hit that changes then? No, it still knocks down. Change opponent's behavior when hit. It looks like it still knocks down. Um, I don't know. Did it knock down differently? And it says flicker two change opponent's behavior when hit. Did they take away? It looks like the Oki is the same. If someone can tell me what the change is here, I can't see it, but maybe it's one of those subtle changes you can't really notice. I genuinely can't see it. Uh, running two, increase the lower range. That's what you love to see. I like that increasing the lower range of running moves because they're supposed to low crush and you do get up kicks and then the running move doesn't work. So I'm very glad for this. Um, and also, while rising one, decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the move hits. So this just leaves them closer. <coughs> all in all, nice. Um, so yeah, Steve mainly, I guess, kind of nerfed, but you know, it's not like anything uh, game changing has gone gone awry with this character. Like he's still the same. I haven't noticed the flicker two change. It still knocks down and counter hit. I haven't. I haven't noticed it. Maybe the Oki's different. I'm not I'm not too sure. But yeah, all in all, basically the same with a rage drive. Well, he has two rage drives on a crack now because obviously the first one is like the 14 frame launcher or whatever. And this one is the one that's just going to wall splat you from Timbuk2, um, which is whatever. Like, is this going to wall splat? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I actually don't understand. I mean, I guess they're saying they want people to use that rage drive. But 
you know it is where it is um i mean the the other one will still always be superior just because it's a 14 frame launcher with like you know but yeah thank you guys for watching this video so steve kind of the same moving forward like less damage on his lows is the main real nerf that i've seen um the new move looks really cool i like i like it to be i like it used as a punish and i like it when you use it the wall to walls but i think that's going to be really cool um but yeah i guess it's better than this i guess it's better than this new move that they added back in season three which kind of has no use but yeah thank you guys for checking out this video please like if you enjoyed comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys for more season four breakdowns in the next video